driven to distraction. One Canal Fulton business owner says his shop was the latest on the list. Now he's fed up and speaking out to the now's Tara Molina and Tara, the owner says that burglar went pretty far to pull this off. He sure did, Karina. The owner told me that he was actually in another time before all of this, probably just to size them up. He came in the front door and uh, asked if he could get an oil change. James Litton, the owner of Northwest Auto Repair, walked me through exactly what happened. Went into the bathroom and uh, it's the only one we have. The first red flag. So he was in there for what I would consider an unusually long time, but you know, who am I to judge? Eventually coming out to tell him the toilet and sink weren't working. I just simply came in and I and I tried to flush it and the handle was just not connected to anything. You could tell it was just free flopping there. He left the bathroom and the man left minutes later. What in the world, uh, you know, why, what's his motivation here? The empty cash drawer, an answer to that question. He noticed hours later and pieced it all together. He had, he had turned those water valves off. But couldn't believe it. Who would think that someone would come mess with your bathroom to steal from you? <laughs> Just to create a distraction to get me away from the cash drawer. Now fully operational again. <laughs> This small business owner and member of a typically quiet and trusting community has a message to share with everyone. It's, it's sad, but I, I just don't, uh, don't assume that everybody has the best of intentions. Now, James actually worked with police to track the suspect down. Turns out he used his real name the first time he was in the shop. That name? Matthew O'Connor. He's currently in the Stark County Jail facing both felony and misdemeanor charges. Reporting in Canal Fulton, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.